seasonal photo frame bed. Uh, the materials you're going to need are four photo frames, same size. I chose the three and a half by five. And you have your cooler, your choice. And all these materials are from the Dollar Tree. Um, some four frames, flowers and pinks of your choice. Uh, because it's close to Valentine's, I chose the heart and the lighter pink. You can even change them for the season. And um, they do have all the Easter and even some um, St. Patrick's Day stuff at uh, Dollar Tree right now, so it's uh, your choice. Um, an exacto knife or box cutter, some scissors, um, a pencil, glue gun, and glue sticks, and also some foam board for the bottom of your base. All right, we're going to get started here. I'm going to just set this out the way for here. Oh, and I also forgot the most important thing, photos. You're going to need to choose um, photos of your family. You could also also use um, old um, calendars from last year. Um, if you have like scenery photos, you can also just cut those out and put those in there if you'd rather have that instead of your, unless you are to use family photos or the options are endless for the photo frame. And I chose some pictures of my nephews, and I'm going to put those in there, and that's the first step. You're going to take your photo frame, and you're going to take any stickers off. I've got the other three prepared already. I just want to show you this step. Now, the back part of where it holds, where it sits, you're going to need to remove that. You're going to need to take that part off. And once you've got that off, Choose your pictures, print them out. I chose black and white because I like the muted tones because of my flowers. But like I said, you can use um, color prints. Um, you can use old calendars. You can use even magazines if they have sceneries in it. I mean, it's you know you can even use I've seen tissue paper and you can actually take your picture frames and actually take your glass and and write on your glass if you want to just set it for one season. But I want to keep this like this so I can change it for different seasons and have my nephew all year round. So what I'm going to do is take each picture. Now my picture frame has these little, the ones I chose in Dollar Tree. Um, I love the wood frame. I love the way it is. You can also paint these. You can actually stain these and make them a little darker. Um, I thought about taking um. The little right here because there's almost like an old um, storage filing cabinet is what the thing is and take and put his name and the year to it just put his name and year or maybe beach trip and the year to it if you want to do that it's up to you or you can put love home family and um, laugh or something like that it's up to you that's if you get that picture frame and what you're going to do is just stick each picture in there I just want to make sure that that's at the bottom and I'm going to put this in here because this makes it a whole lot easier if you go ahead and put your um your picture frames I mean your pictures in your frame first because once we glue these it'll be a little bit harder to get them in there chose to do them um, vertically but you can also do them horizontally if you want to and your your stems will be a little bit shorter you don't have a problem but I like the way they look standing up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to lay this one flat down so I'm going to take some hot glue just make sure you got extra hot glue too because um, it's always good to have extra you know. 
and make sure your ends are facing the right way. I'm gonna try and get this as flush as I can. Like I said, I want to keep that that look. You can also take it and like opposite ends it, but I think I'm gonna do it this way. I think I like the way it looks this way. It'll make more of a rectangular than a square shape. Mm -hmm. Just be careful with the hot glue. Make sure you get enough on it and try to get if it does over just get it towards the end of it so it doesn't come out the opposite the side people are gonna see. And you're gonna need to hold that for a sec. And try and get as flush as possible. You can use E6000 glue on this also to um, give an extra hold, but um, I forgot to bring mine, so we're going to use hot glue. And I'm going to take the inside of this and just put a little extra hot glue in it. Just, if you saw our um, table lamp DIY, it's similar to this. And you're gonna do some you're gonna do the exact same steps. Now I'm gonna glue all the rest of these and as soon as I finish this we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the rest. sit overnight if you want to if you use a6000 I recommend letting this sit overnight um, uh, use glue uh, e6000 and hot glue for this um, but the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to make a base uh, to sit this on so we can have add our floral foam um, what I'm gonna do is take my foam board and I'm gonna sit this on here Try and get it flush. I'm gonna try and get it to his knees in as I possibly can. I want this to be neat and everything. I'm gonna take my pencil and just go inside and trace around the inside of your foam. the inside of your inside of your vase now when you cut it out once you get that cut out we're gonna see if this is gonna sit straight in there and it didn't go straight in but I don't want it to go straight in I want it to kind of be a little bit snug in there and if you see where it's too wide you can cut it down just a tad. And it's like a puzzle piece. You are going to have to figure out where you put it. I think I cut it a little too wide, so I'm just going to put a little more. I want to put some hot glue around this too so it will stay. I don't want it to fall out on you. I 
that's not going to be a problem like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, hot glue. I'm putting hot glue around the edges of it right here. Kind of glue it in place so the technically cannot push it out. I'm just gonna like seal it in basically. And I'm gonna go on the inside of it too. I'm gonna give that just a second to dry. Okay, it's pretty dry. So I'm gonna stick this in here and I'm gonna try and put that down. And get in here and just drop a little bit in there. A little, a little bit through here. But if you take like gravity help you, just take it and go around the edges of it. And that's why I said it would be best to go ahead and put in your picture frames first. I mean, your pictures first. In your frames. And this way we're just sealing it basically. And this should not go anywhere. And this is just, we're just sealing it in. Okay, that's pretty dry, so I'm gonna just be able to like set that there. Now, while that's drying, you can go ahead and put in your foam. Because you're gonna need more hot, hot glue for your foam anyway. Uh, you're just going to see how um, how to place this, and these are pretty much the perfect size for what I need. Just going to speed it just a little. Good for um, the phone, also, it cuts pretty good through that. Just go in and just kind of see how you do it. Just measure it as you go. Um, because, like I said, you do whatever color and this foam um, should be good. You can just take it out. I'm not gluing these in place. <laughs> but right now we're in Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to take my flowers and I'm just going to arrange them as I see I like them. And as soon as I finish that, I will show you the end. We'll be right back. And this is what you can make this and this will be a beautiful bouquet for spring I meant spring or summer for that matter but what I want to do is I want to take it and make it for Valentine's I don't know because this is one of my little loves my nephew I'm gonna um, put my little heart in there for Valentine um make sure you take the plastic off of these things as I was doing the flowers, I forgot to take these off and I kept remembering at the last minute. So I'm just going to take these, this pick. Um, they have um, ones that are just hearts. You can stick down in there if you want. I just kind of like this because it matched my colors and my flowers best. Um, but they do have options at the Dollar Tree right now. Um, they're like really light pink and red, dark red and an any red or pink color right now for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm going to take these. I'm trying to make them as long as I possibly can. Okay, I'm going to cut these off. I'm not for sure if I want to use my my um my leaves on there. I may take the leaves off. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see what it looks like without it. It's just up, like I said, it's just up to you. I'm 
kind of put it where you can kind of see it. I think I'm gonna take the leaves off because they're getting really hindered by the other one, so I'm gonna take the leaves off. But they they are green stems, so they um do match in better with the flowers. Now the other one uh, were just I think wood stems, but it's like I said, it's up to you, your choice. And there's many many different options. All right, I'm gonna make sure there's one kind of on each end. Nails might need him to this end, and because there was five, so I sound like mine in order. <laughs> Everything so, um, I put my little heart at the top where my I put my little baby's breath kind of put it where you can see that also. And there you have it, it's just as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed it. And next up, I'll have a um. A Valentine wreath that will actually match this and I'll go with this too. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.